hello everyone in this lecture we are going to discuss with the new topic that is a disc brake so as we know very common the function of a brakes are to stop or to slow down moving object so basically to slow down or completely stop motion of a moving system we use a brakes so that's a basic function of brake during that braking process brake acts of kinetic energy or potential energy or both the form of energy of that particular moving system and that absorb energy needs to get converted into heat and that heat needs to be dissipated to surrounding so very common example when we apply brakes technically that brake absorb kinetic energy or potential energy and that absorb energy gets converted into heat and that heat we need to dissipate to the surrounding so this is a basics of a brakes so we have a syllabus a disc brake very common disc brake in two wheeler that is motorcycles so you might have seen kind of element attached to the front rear wheels that is we call as a rotor so we'll discuss what is the basic working of this disc brake so it consists of uh, the rotor which is mounted on this wheel hub so as this rotor is mounted on the wheel that is a shaft so it revolves with the same speed outer circumference of the brake disc is in housed with hydraulic calipers so here you can see in this animation this part i'm talking about this disc as rotor this rotor exactly rotate with the same speed as of shaft because it is mounted on shaft that is called as a hub what is a caliper caliper is this assembly this parts whole structure is called as a caliper so i can say this is a caliper disc brake caliper consists of piston cylinder arrangement and which is having brake pads which actually stops the rotating disc so we'll discuss what is the working of a disc brake so here you can observe in this animation when i'm going to press this pedal or lever in this case is a pedal as shown you can observe because of this this rotating disc what we which we call as a rotor it's going to stopped because of hydraulic pressure so we'll discuss this is basically a hydraulics hydraulics that means oil pressure is utilized for actuating motion so here we can see this rotating disc is stopped when we are going to press the lever so when this disc rotates with the same speed that of shaft and when vehicle is running when we want to stop the rotating disc we are going to apply the braking effort that means we are going to press this pedal because of pressurized fluid that pressurized fluid push the two piston towards the rotating disc and friction is the reason which stop the rotating disc as here you can see friction between brake pads on the stationary piston and the rotating brake disc causes the braking of vehicle when brake is released again the two pistons are pushed back because of the spring action so that we are going to discuss here so here you can see here we have master cylinder master cylinder where we have a fluid reservoir and this part is called as caliper assembly so here you can observe so this part is called as caliper as you can see here calipers it consists of here you can see these are the pistons so when pressurized fluid are going to come here which will push this two pistons and these two brake pads these are the brake pads here you can see these brake pads stop this rotating disc so this is a rotor this rotor rotates with the same speed as that of shaft so this rotor rotates with the same speed 
when you are going to press when you are going to apply a force here this because of this pressurized fluid it enters here and it will push this brake pads and it will stop the rotor disc so here you need to know the different parts as this whole assembly is called as a caliper where we have piston cylinder arrangement this and brake pads so these two yellow color parts are the brake pads this is this i can say you can see again one complete cycle for braking action this part is piston this two are the brake pads brake pads so when you are going to apply a force here that pressurized fluid push this pistons and stop the rotating disc that's the working of a disc brake very simple and easy to understand so with this animation you'll get to know how it is so so friction generated at the contact of braking pads and rotating disc whereas master cylinder stores the fluid when you are going to release the brake pedals or lever against the spring action that fluid restores its position so this is a working of a disc brake and because of high braking control it is very common in case of two wheeler automobiles now what are the advantage of disc brake operation and assembly is much simpler as a friction pads are flat the wear and tear is uniform so here you can observe the brake pads friction pads in case of this disc brake they are flat so uniform wear and tear takes place for brake pad heat dissipation in case of this brake is faster therefore lubrication is not required so what are the basic limitations or disadvantage for this brakes costly due to hydraulic caliper and the fluid lines so we need to maintain this pressurized lines or uh, fluid lines and the caliper that is costly second one very important the frictional area of the pad is less therefore requires a high pressure intensity fluid as we know the caliper dimensions which is mounted near to the or mounted on the rotor which is comparatively small so here we need to maintain the high pressure intensity fluid so these two things are the basic limitation for a disc brake so because of its high braking control ability it is very common in case of vehicles motorcycles in racing cars and conveyors so when we require a high braking control we go for disc brake this is all about disc brake i think it is very easy to understand by using this diagram thank you